in this video i explain allocation of sample size under stratified random sampling as you know when we have population of heterogeneous units then in such case we apply stratified random sampling we divide our population into homogeneous groups called strata so allocating sample size to different strata we use the following methods equal allocation optimum allocation proportion allocation neiman allocation and variable sampling fraction but before starting video if you are new on my channel statisticians club please subscribe the channel if you want to see detailed video what is stratified random sampling you can find link at the end of your screen at the end of screen allocation of sample what is allocation of sample allocation of sample means the way in which total sample size n is distributed among different strata into which the population has been divided we start from population of heterogeneous units so we divide this population into groups called strata and allocation of sample to these strata is called allocating sample means we allocate or we provide samples to the strata so this whole procedure is called allocation of sample types of allocation five methods of allocation sample numbers under stratified random sampling are equal allocation proportional allocation optimum allocation neiman allocation variable sampling fraction equal allocation the allocation is called equal when equal number of sampling units is selected from each stratum when we select equal number of units for uh, equal number of units for each stratum then such allocation is called equal allocation as its no name shows equal allocation means equally distributed so the so the total sample size n is distributed among equally k strata and stratum sample size ni for equal allocation means the mathematical form of equal allocation is ni is equal to small n over k where i varies 1 to k k shows the number of strata and small n is the sample size this is the simplest method of allocation proportional allocation as its name according to its name the, the the procedure depends upon its name proportional proportion so when the total sample size n is distributed among different strata with proportion to size of strata so in proportional allocation we allocate samples according to the size of strata means proportion of size of strata if um, if um, if one group is um, um, large in numbers uh, there is greater probability to select more sample size from such group so such st uh, simply uh, such allocation is called proportional allocation the mathematical form of proportional allocation is ni is equal to small n capital n i over capital n where i varies from 1 to n here small n i is the population size of i stratum sample size and capital n is the total size of the population capital n shows the size of population and small n is the population size of i stratum advantages of proportional allocation proportional allocation does not require information either on stratum variance or on cost of sampling units in different strata optimum allocation the total sample size n is allocated among different strata in such a way that for given cost of selecting the sample the variance of estimated mean is x bar st uh, here is some typing mistake not ct means a uh, here is s st st is the abbreviation of stratified uh, that is variance of x bar st is minimized or minimize the cost of specified value of variance such procedure of stratification is referred to as optimum allocation so uh, in optimum allocation we allocate sample 
to different strata uh, in such a way that given cost of selecting the sample and the variance of the estimated mean x t is minimized or uh, we adopt to minimize uh, other procedure minimize cost to specified variance so if we uh, we we adopt two uh, two methods uh, uh, according you can ch uh, choose according to your choice minimize cost f for fixed values of variance or minimized variance for estimated mean and cost is uh, fixed so such procedure of stratification is referred to as optimum allocation ni is equal to n capital ni sigma i over root ci and sum of the uh, and uh, add, uh, add divisor sum the this term sum of ni sigma i over ci where i 1 to so on k here capital ni is population from which stratum drawn sigma i is stratum standard deviation ci is the cost of serving one unit of i stratum when stratum standard deviation is not available we used si which is estimated from sample or we may use proportional allocation in uh, in such case if stratum if stratum standard deviation is not available so we have two choices either we use si sample standard deviation or we may use proportional allocation instead of optimum allocation neman allocation it consists of finding ni which minimize the variance of stratified sample mean for a fixed total sample size n by assuming that cost of serving unit ci to be the same in all strata cost of serving unit ci to be the same in all strata ni is equal to small n capital ni sigma i over summation ni sigma i where i 1 to so on k neman allocation becomes exactly the same as proportional allocation when st stratum standard deviation is equal when this stratum standard deviation is equal it means it uh, it cut with this and we remain the formula of proportional allocation so neman allocation a, a is exactly like the proportional allocation variable sampling fraction suppose we stratified the population of town according to age and decide to take proportion from each age group if observations from some age group are more variable and means people uh, people present in such age groups have much variation uh, in their ages as compared to other groups then it is desirable to take a greater proportion from those age groups to determine these age groups more accurately so in this invariable sampling fraction we take more sample from such groups where variation is greater as compared to such groups where variation is low for example if one group has double variation to an other group so means its standard deviation is double than the standard deviation of other group so it is greater chances to select uh, select uh, uh, double number of sampling units as compared to single standard deviation groups so stratified random sampling is the variable sampling fraction if you want to see videos on what is stratified random sampling what is simple random sampling what is um, uh, um, mcqs about sampling distribution and sampled population and target population then click the link in front of your screen thanks for watching